hello guys this is life issue and this is lesson thank you so much for coming to my channel channel we talk about viral news and we try to analyze it and we try to like put our own tweaks to it and make people think through the viral news and what has happened now today's viral news was a news item that i got off just lovers page i woke up this morning and i saw that video now when i saw this video as a woman as a mom i was really sad angry at first and my question was what will a woman do that a man that she got married to will treat her this way why will a husband not think about the implication of their action towards their wife and how it will affect their children now if you've not seen this video of abiola bikili any i think it's any now who happens to be a well-known nigerian seamstress she is very popular she has close to like 300 followers on youtube before her husband took down her youtube channel now i think they've been having some marital issue and I think the husband was based in, in Kuwait. And this is what her story is all about. I don't want to be the one to tell her story for you. You know how I normally do it. I allow the person to tell the story while I write down things. And then we'll talk about it and we analyze it. And we go through what people are saying. So what I want you to do is for you to stay tuned with me while I play her own version of the story then we can talk about it based on what she has said so listen to her talking hello everyone everyone thanks for your prayers and support i just had to come out because my kids were abducted my car was taken forcefully Thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah, my name is Blokis. Yes, yeah, Blokis Signatures. I just need your help. I need your help because on Tuesday morning, while I was dropping off my kids in their school, Spring of Life at Lakowe, four dogs came to attack me while i was dropping the kids in their school uniform right in front of the school because the the proprietress and the head teacher mr Shinwa, had to come out when they heard the 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 saga the first the four out came to attack me then the father of my children surfaced with his mom his sister his brother his cousin Kola that lives at adeba to take my kids forcefully and my phone because when he came, the first thing he was telling them was, please, don't, don't let her make any call. Don't let her make any call. Don't let her make any video. Make sure you collect your, 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 your phone. And was attacking me because the violent person, that was part of the reason why I left him in the first place. He was attacking me and had to get my phone, the car, my laptop, and took everything away. Even a stranger that came to drop her kids out to face him. That how could you do that to the mother of your kids? I need your help, guys. I've reported, have reported to the right authorities, please. Because the, since Tuesday, I could imagine how traumatized my children could be right now. Seeking them forcefully away from me. When it's not a civil, I told you you can't have access to your children. Even if I don't allow you to have access to your children, all you have to do is to go to human rights or go to the police station. All they will do is to invite me. And then question me, then we can settle it. But you came from Kuwait. Because I told him, when you come, let us talk about this. Even while he was there in their Arabic school, Fadri Center, he, is, he pays for it. I take the children every weekend. So for you to know that it's not as if I'm taking his kids away from him. But you now coming all the way from Kuwait, what you cannot do over there, to forcefully abduct my children right now i don't know where my kids are with your mom your sister your brother your cousin and fought out the fought out were the first person that came out wow and then not only that he took my phone i, I 
access to my YouTube and deleted all my videos. 208 videos. Because we were about celebrating 300,000 subscribers and you went there knowing that is the major source of my income. The income coming from here is what I use to take care of your children. I paid the school fees. I did everything which I had the receipts. This is a man that for two years has been, he's been taking my YouTube earnings. I keep hustling, striving because I'm an hardworking person. You've been violent. I keep just enduring. All for the sake of the children. For how long am I going to take this? Even when these Apple people were like, the children are involved. And now I don't know where my kids are. We both have rights. We both we should both have access to these kids. Because I could just imagine for the kids on their way to school, their mom going to drop them. Some thoughts came. Then their father showed up to take them away. It will forever be in their memory. How can you do that in a lawful country? What you cannot do there in Kuwait? You are not doing it it's here. I'm going to post his pictures and I'm going to post his number, his parents' number. Even my parents tried reaching their par uh, his parents. They were like, this is a wrong number. That's the height of it. How can you deprive me of my children? The children, the kids have never left before. Due to this violence, I, I, I left you. Just leave me. Let me be. Not only depriving me of my kids, then my source of income, you went there to delete all my video, 208 videos. That's too bad. That is too bad. That is too bad. You don't do that. How can you do that? Coming from Kuwait to do that in Nigeria. Coming with talks. There were 10 in front of Spring of Life at Lakoway. That's, that's just the height of it. That's just the height of it. Yeah, I've reported. Thank you so much. Thanks for your prayers. But this has to be stopped. Because it needs to be taught. A because if that is not done, it will keep doing that. Fine. He, that is the way he harassed me. The first thing when he came, give me your phone. That's the, that, you know, just a violent person. On a normal day, the kids are scared of him. So I could imagine those kids going through that process. I could imagine what the kids are going through right now. That's too bad. That's too bad. How can you deprive me of my kids? I've never left them for once. The condition in which they sleep, they sleep in is very important. What they eat and then you just snap them out of nowhere. I could imagine where you took them to. Is it to a family place? You took them from their mom to a family Because I, I don't know. I can't just think straight right now. I can't think straight because it's affecting me right now. It is, it is affecting me. How can I not be away from my kids since Tuesday? And we try reaching out to you guys. And you guys are, are not forthcoming. Oh my God, the height of it for him to have gone to my YouTube to delete my videos. I'm sure you guys will understand the type of man he is. He's so violent and mean. Still, I endured. And I, and I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't because my life is more important. There are times I won't make videos. I, I, I don't know because it's affecting me right now. It's affecting me. I'm, 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 I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know what to do. I've never left those kids. And then you just came and took them away with your family member, your mom, your sister. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that. Um, when I was watching that video, as a mom, as someone that worked with children, the first thing that came into my mind was how traumatized these children would be at this time. And to think that this was done by their parents, by their dad, it is very, very appalling. Now, let's look at the stress issue. This woman is clearly traumatized, okay? She's never been, you know, left without her children. And not only that, these children have never had their mom being separated from them. And I wonder, why would a man want to do that? Whether you like it or not, forever and ever, in these children's mind, this picture will always be there. That you took them away from their mom. And if these are true, I don't even know if they are boys or girls, but no matter what gender they are, if these children are very close to their mom and you did this, what kind of a relationship are you trying to build with your children? You cannot force love. You cannot force loyalty. You can, 
you know, take them away from their mom, whom they love, and you can impose another woman on them. It doesn't mean that when they grow up, they're not going to go to their mom. You know, we need to understand what parenting is. Parenting is not by force. From the, what the woman said, these children are actually afraid of their dad. So that means there's no close relationship with their dad. There is no love there. So what are you trying to build by holding on to these children? Why is it that in Africa, when there is any kind of separation or divorce, the man holds on to the children? At the end of the day, children are more attached to their moms. Why don't you allow the better person to bring up these children? Why is this, this egocentric or male dominance um, issue or the fact that you want to prove that you're a man, that your children are your children? Why don't we think about the well-being and the welfare of the children? Who should these children actually be with when there is separation? I was just looking at what she said. How can you, as a parent, you went to your children's school to take them? I mean, not talk about people. Ah, it, 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 the fact that you have actually shamed your children, the kind of drama that you must have brought in, their pairs seeing them, knowing about this, talking about this forever and ever in their life. This is a story that will be told that their dad came with talks when they were in secondary school or primary school and he took them. Why don't we think about our children when we're making some decision? And I don't know, this man said a lot of things. And I just wonder, I just wonder at the kind of upbringing this man had. Was there no one around him to advise better? What did this woman do? What is her sin? What has she committed that will make your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin to come to your nephew, your cousin, your niece school to do this, not minding the public outcry, not minding the humiliation, the trauma. You don't care. All you wanted to do was to prove you, that you can do it. Nigeria is really a lawlessness country. From what she's saying, this man, this man couldn't do this in Kuwait. He was not allowed. He can't even do it. He can't even try it. But he is able to do this in our country, Nigeria. That shows the kind of legal system that we have. That shows the kind of what our society that we have. Where a woman is a victim, where a woman is, victim, is, is victimized, where a woman is made to be nothing in her own home, where a woman who is the one that has given birth, who is the one that is more nurturing, who is the one that is more caring, can her child be taken away from her and there is nothing she can do about it. She's not the only case. This is a normal case in African society. In a society where they've understood the psychological effect of separation from mom or from mothers, they have understood the fact that children need their mom more than their dad. I'm telling you, it's in rare cases that the dad supersedes the mom in rare cases. Most children have this bond with their mom because a mother is, is her nature is to nurture. Her nature is to love. Men are out there trying to, you know, prove that they are ego, they are their men, they are provider. They are out there always for business meeting. But women's nature is to love. And in the Western world, in more developed country, this has brought about some laws that have been put in place. It could, this couldn't have happened in Kuwait or in Western world. It couldn't have happened. And to see how callous this man is, what did this woman do to you that will make you to take down her own means of livelihood, her business? You know, we do we do social media, we do social media. Some of us are doing social media because we want a second income. We are looking for, in our husbands sometimes, they don't even give us the kind of money that we want. Especially when maybe, when you were single, when you were growing up, you had money, you had everything, and now you get married. And the man is not providing. The man is not even doing the things that you want. And instead of you to go out or do the wrong thing, you are looking for other avenue 
of making money, this woman decided to use what God has given her. Do you know what it is to have 300,000 followers on social media? Do you know what it means for you to have grown your, you know, sub base to three? She's making money. This woman was making money. And this man, to show how petty and how callous and wicked and the fact that he is jealous of this woman, he decided to take down her account, to take down her, her videos, just to show I am the man. Hi, what kind of marriage do we get into? What kind of a home do we actually find ourselves in? We men in Nigeria. Why is it that we have people who are demons and devils and we marry them? If you want to leave this woman, leave her. If you want to, you know, if you don't if you want to talk about her, talk about her. You may make an allegation. But why take that particular thing that you know is her means of livelihood? Why, why take it? Why do that? Are you jealous of her? Can't you stand the fact that your wife is much more pro you know, prospering than you? You know, the wife keeps saying that he's in Kuwait. He, she didn't tell us what he does, in, what he was doing in Kuwait. She didn't tell us what his business was. But anyhow, we look at this story. We don't know what the issues are, what their problems are. Maybe the man will later come out and tell us because this has gone viral. But marriage shouldn't be this bad. Breaking up shouldn't be this bad. People break up in the Western world now. We go about it in a much more civilized way. Think about your children. Always think about your children. The most important thing in breaking up is your children. You can break up from a woman and still have this cordial relationship with the mom of these children. You can actually put the interest of your children at heart when you are breaking up. It should not be about, I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to show you. It should be about what is the right thing? What is the best thing for my children? That should, that should be what it is. Why are we sometimes, we, you know, we call ourselves parents, but we don't know how to parent. We just born children because they said we should born. They should say we should just, yeah, that's great. That's what we're doing. But we're not parenting. We are not matured enough to be parents. That's what I see sometimes in social media. This story, for anybody out there, it shows how Nigerian legal system has failed the women. Nigerian, this man could do this in Nigeria. He couldn't do it in Kuwait. He could do it in Nigeria because the legal system in Nigeria fails the women almost every day. Women are taken as second citizen. Like we are nothing. We are nobody. A man can treat us anyhow because we are women. There's this alpha male syndrome in Africa, in Nigeria. It is wrong. I heard her talking about the fact that she never even denied him access. He wasn't even around. He just came back and he did what he had to do because he knew he could get away with this in Nigeria. I hope and I wish that Nigerian, any advocate policewoman should fight for this woman. I cannot. Many of us can't. We can only blog it and make her video go viral and talk about it and make others to talk about it. But let me tell you something. If we do not, if we do not stop this maltreatment of women in our society, the society will never progress. Because, whether we like it or not, this woman grievance, this woman prayer, for as long as she keeps praying and wishing for her children, for as long as she does not have access to her children, this man's life will never turn out right. You know, people don't understand the power of, of a praying wife, whether bad prayer or good prayer. As long as you are yoked to this woman and she prays, God will hear her prayer. I don't know if, you know, I, I, I tell them people, don't get me angry as a wife. If I kneel down for you, if I kneel down for you, you will not progress. I'm telling you, a wife has that authority over her own. 
She has, she's the one that controls what happens spiritually in her home. People don't get that. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. This story, I mean, I, I try to touch every aspect of this story. And I, I don't know what else she could do because she has gone to the police station. But I don't even know how Nigerian police will help her. Most of them are actually part of this maltreatment of women. How would the politician help her? They are all the same. All of them are the same. I just pray that somehow the children will be released back to her or an arrangement made for this woman to have access to her children. No mother ever wished such. I, I don't know if, if I'm high in her shoe, how I'll be feeling if my son is taken from me by any man born of a woman. Hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, guys, I don't know what you guys think about this story. I think our society, our legal system is broken. We need to be thinking about how can we fix it. And for the family of this man, what you guys did is wrong. You guys are women. A mother of a child, you are a woman. Think about it. The sister that came for this um, with the talks, you are a woman. Think about it. You might think you have everything, you have, nothing will happen to you. You guys are rich, you guys can intimidate her. But let me tell you something. This life is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. It waits for you somewhere. That's what you guys don't know. Karma is actually a bitch. Thank you guys. What do you guys think about this story? God bless you.